and welcome everyone from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC here at Gold. And I have to tell you, it's a very exciting time here. We are getting ready for our annual tongue tie symposium, our online tongue tie symposium here at Gold Learning. And with me here today is one of our speakers, Dr. Leslie Kowalski. Welcome. Hello. Oh, it's, thank you. It's so lovely to have you here today. And, and I know we want to talk about your presentation and the Tangta Symposium in just a little bit. But uh, let us know, first of all, where in the world are you? And, and let us uh, know a little bit about you first. Uh, sure. I am in uh, uh, New Jersey, in uh, central New Jersey, uh, Plainsboro, New Jersey, uh, near Princeton uh, in the United States. And I, um, uh, as you said, my name is Leslie. I am a, a board certified lactation consultant. And uh, in my former life, I uh, was a research scientist in uh, biochemistry and molecular biology. Hmm. That's before a, having children <laughs> that's a fascinating background yeah. I saw that and I wanted to ask you actually about this so how did that switch come about um, from uh, molecular bio <laughs> biochemistry and bio and uh, molecular bi biology to uh, you have a PhD in that to become an IBCLC and become passionate about everything that has to do with breastfeeding and tongue tie so walk mm -hmm. us a little bit through how you got there sure I uh, well I have uh, two daughters uh, who are now uh, 18 and 22. I became an empty nester last week. I cannot oh. believe it. And um, I, when I had my uh, first daughter, I had a lot of trouble with breastfeeding, uh, you know, all the problems that everyone has. And uh, I sought help from the Leche League and had a wonderful leader who gave me so much help. And I, um, really was able to overcome my problems and find a group of, of people to meet with uh, probably about every week. So I was able to build a community, but also I was preparing to go back to work uh, as, as a scientist. And I um, was working for a very small biotech company. And as we know, those can be a little bit unstable. And actually on my first day back to work, they announced that our company was closing. <laughs> That's a welcome back, right? <laughs> it was a very interesting welcome back. So I, I went home and I looked at my little daughter and I thought, I kind of like this. <laughs> and I um, decided to become a La Leche League leader to give back to that community that had helped me so much. And, but I always loved the you know, the scientist in me always loved all the information about breastfeeding and breastfeeding science. And so I think after a while, I started to realize that I could use that time as a leader, plus my background mm -hmm. uh, to become a lactation consultant. So mm -hmm. uh, that is what led me here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, And I, I can only imagine how exciting that must have been for you as a scientist and researcher. I mean, learning about all that amazing research that's coming out now. Yes. I mean, it feels like every day something new is coming out. We learn about the composition of breast milk. And, yes. and I mean, it, we, we think we know so much, but there's still new... <laughs> <laughs> new components discovered, new, yes. you know, research. You must be like, wow, this is, uh, you know, this is heaven. I can dig in yes. here. <laughs> I love it. The, the genius of biology. It, it right. never ceases to amaze. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely <laughs> fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Yeah, I can only imagine that uh, that this uh, your background is very helpful in in what you do in here, um, here, supporting the community here as well. And um. Now to the topic of tongue tie. When did you become interested in that topic? Did, is, was that also through personal experience with your daughters or how did that develop? It was not, although I do suspect, actually, I know that I have one and I think perhaps my daughters do as well. Um, but I think it just uh, over the last, I want to say 10 years, it just became a topic that uh, you know, just became more and more prevalent. So I, I, I don't think, you know, I, I became a little HA league leader 19 years ago. I don't think we discussed tongue tie much at all mm. in meetings, or I didn't hear about it. Um, somewhere around 
I guess about when I became an IBCLC, I started to hear more and more about it. And it mm-hmm. started to come up in conferences and in just yeah. everyday chatter, you know, in on online groups. And so, mm. uh, so the more that I was working with families, the more I started to see. And, uh, you know, and I think at first I thought, oh, this is simple. They have a tie and not that I'm allowed to diagnose them, but, you mm-hmm. know, but I could see possibly one. And, um, And it, you know, it seemed kind of straightforward, but then the more we learn about it and the more we delve into it, the more we realize that it is absolutely not straightforward (laughs) and that we need a much more comprehensive Mm -hmm. program to help these, these families and and these babies. And so that set me onto, uh, uh, you know, still I'm always seeking out new information, whether it is through lactation uh, conferences or trying to shadow release providers or body workers or, you know, pretty much mm-hmm. anyone I can, I can talk to. I'm, I want to learn as much as I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it makes sense. You mentioned how incredibly complex the topic is. You feel it, you know, when you started out and you saw it, oh, it's a tie possibly. So um, let's do a release and, and be done with it. But it's yes. not as, as, as simple and straightforward in, in many, many cases. Right. So you mentioned something interesting and I've seen this in, uh, you know, looking back in my education and practice as well is um, more and more, um, you know, information about tongue tie and the topic being out there. Do you think we see more cases of tongue tie or do you think it's more now uh, become relevant because it's researched more? It's because it's more brought to the attention of care providers. Um, What do you see there? What do you think is going on? I think about that question frequently. I I am not sure. I I do think that certainly in my work, I I tend to see people who have tried the basics Mm -hmm. and they are still struggling. Mm -hmm. And so I do think just as a percentage, I'm going to see a higher percentage of a population that has some kind of dysfunction. Um, So sometimes I'll tell people that, you know, if people say, oh, why do lactation consultants see so many ties? It's kind of like saying, why does a doctor see so many sick people? You know, (laughs) I, I, I do think that we are seeing, you know, I, I, I've been trying to um, promote this concept of a breastfeeding checkup, you know, where we see mm-hmm. pe- people who are not having problems, but that they want to know how much milk does the baby take? What other positions can I use? Right. Um, how do I introduce a bottle? How do I pump? You know, things like mm-hmm. that. And I, I actually would love to see more of those, but I mm-hmm. think I do think that I am seeing more dysfunction because that's the population that's coming to me. So certainly in my everyday work, it does feel like every baby is tied. I know that cannot possibly be true. Mm -hmm. Um, I also think that, yes, I think what you said about research and just our awareness is Mm -hmm. certainly increasing the, uh, you know, the numbers as well. Yeah. I like what you said there about the checkup, you know, just to see, you know, um, and it, 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 that could be, you know, also very valuable for the family, even if they, yes. you know, see everything is going well, it's nice to know, you know, um, everything is going well, <laughs> as you know, to, to kind of have like we have an annual physical, maybe, you know, checking in, not because we necessarily have a problem, but just making sure everything is on still on the right track, doing this with uh, breast and chest feeding as well, even yeah. if it's going well, just to have a little feedback there. I, I like that concept actually very and much. There, so. there are so many questions to mm-hmm. ask, even when it is going well. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's great. So let's talk briefly about your presentation here. And I love the title, Untangling the Big Picture of Tongue Tie Assessment. So you're looking at the big picture. So tell us a little yes. bit about, um, just give us a little overview of what we can look forward to. So um, I think my role for this presentation, I am not describing the mechanics of tongue tie or, you know, really the nitty gritty. I am really looking at the overall picture of how do we support these families from our first consult to the end. And uh, so I'm looking at, you know, what might we see at a first consult? How might we present information to them? How will we help them with what is probably a very stressful time Mm -hmm. for them and uh, navigating that process, uh, you know, not only with breastfeeding and chest feeding, but also 
you know, pumping and bottle feeding and navigating providers that they may be going to. And if they do wind up having a baby with ties and having a release procedure, how do we help them after? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sounds fascinating and wonderful because this is, you know, you know, from beginning to the end, how can we, um, you know, assist the family um, for, you know, the whole entire time they're in this there together. So that's, that's beautiful. I'm very much looking forward to this presentation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you for sitting down here with me and chatting a little bit about your amazing work that you're doing and your background. And of course, the presentation that you will have have here with us at Gold. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and now for our viewers, if you are interested in the Tang Tai Symposium, this particular presentation will be live on September 13th. We have two full days of Tang Tai, everything related to Tang Tai presentation. So on September 13th, it is all about the fundamentals. Uh, September 14th uh, is a little bit, uh, digs a little bit deeper into more complex cases as well. You can either be part of the entire symposium or pick and choose which day suits you best. But I hope we see you at the entire symposium because it's well worth it. We have 10 presentation from you from international speakers. So if you would like to find out more about this particular presentation here, with Dr. Kowalski or the other presentations in the symposium, we would like to invite you to visit goldlearning.com. Thank you again, Leslie, and uh, to all our viewers, have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.